Sometimes you want to go all out, but you don't have the time. And today I'm going to show you how to make some pulled pork that you can make ahead of time and make it perfect for burritos, tacos, enchiladas, or any Mexican style food. Hi, I'm Ryan from the Grill Top Experience, and today I'm going to show you how to pack in hours worth of flavor when you only have minutes to make dinner. We're going to do that by working ahead of time and making some pulled pork. I'm going to show you exactly how I did it for dinner tonight. I like to make my own chili powder with a blend of different chilies. New Mexico, Negro, and Guajillo peppers are a really great mix. They require just a bit of prep. You'll want to remove the stems as well as the seeds before grinding them, and you may want to chop them up into a little bit smaller pieces. Spice grinders would work really great, but I have a bullet style blender and that works fine as well. Run it until it looks like fine powder, just like the chili powder in your cupboard. You're going to end up with about four tablespoons and we're going to add a tablespoon of cumin, which is a must have in just about any Mexican inspired dish. Add a couple teaspoons of garlic powder, and maybe a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. That's completely optional. Then shake it to combine. Prime pork is just a marketing term, but this pork butt had better marbling and a dark, rich color that I knew would add some extra flavor and tenderness. And you could use a chuck roast or something similar if you want to go with beef. You've noticed that the rub had no salt, and I like to add it separately so that way you know exactly how much you're using. Cover all six sides generously since it's a big cut of meat and it's going to need it. The salt brings out a bit of moisture and acts like a binder to keep the rub on the meat. And I covered it with just enough to give it a nice even color. Of course, I'm feeling lazy today and I don't want to clean the pellet grill, so I'm sporting a disposable pan and a cooling rack to catch all the drips. Most pellet grills say not to use them in the rain or bad weather, but this one said that it was IPX4 rated, so I used it even though it was snowing for the first couple of hours. I set it to smoke for the first part of the cook and put the pork butt on one side of the grill so it wasn't sitting over the fire pot. Some pellet grill users have burned their meat from direct heat from the fire pot, but that's probably overly cautious at these temps. After 30 minutes or so, the smoke has added a bit of flavor and I turned up the grill to 225 degrees Fahrenheit for four or five hours until it reaches about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I wrapped it in foil to cook it the rest of the way in a 275 degree oven to save pellets. After another four hours or so, I pulled the pork at 190 degrees Fahrenheit, which gives us a clean bone and an easy pull, but the meat won't be mushy. With some insulated gloves, pull the pork by hand and toss any big chunks of fat that didn't render. Rubs are really great on the outside, but after eight or 10 hours of cooking, their flavor starts to disappear. I intentionally saved some and added it back into the meat while it was still hot. That'll rehydrate the chili powder and give it way more flavor than you could get without adding it here. You can also freeze it or save it for a few days in the fridge, but after all that work, I had to taste it and see how it went. The next day, I sauteed up some onions and added the cold pulled pork with a half a cup of good salsa. You could use enchilada sauce or whatever you have on hand or feel like that day. I broiled these peppers for a few minutes and sliced them up for both sweet and the heat. We made some fresh tortillas with some rendered brisket fat, or you could use the store-bought ones if you have to. And then it all came together for a pretty great weekday meal. And with just a little bit of preparation, we can get dinner ready in a real hurry. We've got rice, beans, the meat, and the peppers all coming together in a great burrito. And if pork isn't your thing, you can do the same thing with chuck roast, which will also make amazing pulled beef, tacos, and burritos. We'll catch you next time.